Hello everyone. So in this lesson, we are going to look at Go interfaces. Okay. So let's go ahead and start like defining an interface, right? So you do that by uh, using this keyword type and the name of the interface. Let's call it speak and then and this is going to be an interface so, okay and then inside this we are going to define a method actually they call it a method signature okay so now that we have the interface we are going to define a user defined type okay so I have the code ready so I'm going to just copy and paste in the interest of saving time so you have a user defined type called dog and it's got only one uh, type in it actually one uh, variable in it so a struct is actually a structure which is a combination of uh, multiple it can be a combination of multiple types but in this case there's only one okay so you define a type now we have to have this type implement this interface okay so we're gonna write another function like this right where we are passing the user defined type as a receiver and we have the greet function that we define here and we have some code inside this function actually okay so this is how actually you make use of an interface an interface ju is just an abstraction it doesn't have any definition of the functions or the methods in it you have types user different types uh, basically implement the interface that we want actually right so now how do we actually make use of this interface so first thing is you have to uh, define a variable for this interface right so let me get some code right here you can see that you know I'm defining a variable s and that is of type speak interface okay and I'm also you know initiating and defining uh, another variable called d1 that is of this user defined type and I'm like passing this value Oscar right so now what I'm doing is I'm assigning this variable value to our interface so this is called implicit imp implementation right because these are two different types right this is an interface this is a user different type right but since our type has implemented this interface the method in the interface we can do this so now I'm going to call the greet method through the interface variable okay so I'm gonna go ahead and run it so go run main dot go there you go so we have the the print statement executed right here and it's happened through the interface we haven't like called the function directly but we, we called it through the interface right so now actually let's just take it to the next level now let's define another user defined type called cat and and we are going to have this type implement this greet function actually or the greet method okay now there you go so this is how you actually implement or a type implements a greet method right so this cat type has implemented greet method now I'm going to have another set of uh, uh, statements over here you see so I'm defining like another you know the c1 variable and I'm initializing it to the cat uh, like you know this variable is of type the user defined type cat I'm actually initializing with the, the mittens value actually so I'm going to use this variable and I'm going to assign it to our interface I'm going to call the greet function again through this the same uh, variable that we have from the beginning actually right so let's see actually what happens now 
Now this time it says both actually. Oscar says woof and Mitten says meow, right? Even though actually we are calling the same greet function through this interface, at runtime actually we are able to figure out which function to be exec executed exactly. So now you might ask actually why should I use an interface, right? You know, why do we even need it? Like I could have one function just having like an you know, if else condition, like saying like if that, you know, if I have a dog type do this, if I have a cat type do something else. So I could have that actually, but look how clean the code is. So this is the main benefit of interface. It helps you to have clean decoupled code. That way you tend to have less and less dependency issues. Let's look at like a real world example, right? So let's say like your organization is using both AWS and GCP, right? So then you can have an interface, let's say for this method actually, describe instance, right? Because you can, ha you can have instances on GCP, you can have instances on AWS. By instances, I mean just the VMs actually. Uh, for example, uh, EC2 instance, which is offered by AWS service, right? So let's say you have an interface for that, right? Which implements this method. Then you could have two different types actually, one for AWS and one for GCP and all the attributes that go into uh, these user defined types. In this case, I have the instance name and instance ID. And then you can have these types implement their own uh, describe instance method, right? Now, when I actually like have initialized, let's say like the AWS uh, user different type with whatever, then I can call the describe instance through this interface and this at runtime actually it will go and execute the right method, right? And similarly, if I want to do something with GCP instance, I can call this describe instance uh, through this interface. Again, at runtime, it will call the right method. So here you can see like how nicely like the AWS SDK code and GCP SDK code is uh, separated or decoupled. So that's actually like the main benefit of having interfaces. Okay. So, all right. I hope that was useful. I will see you guys in another video of mine. Please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of my new videos. Thank you.